Of course, it finished earlier today, and it has finished. Panama nil, Jamaica won, and unfortunately for Panama, they needed the Panama needed to win to have a chance of going into the final match day in Group F and having a chance of going through to the round of 16, but they have lost, and Panama are out of the World Cup. For Jamaica, it's a massive, massive result for them, and they are in contention. And they are in contention to qualify for the round of 16. Big, big result for them, and they've got a tricky last game. Now, they do play Brazil, uh, which is going to be really tough. For Jamaica, but we saw what happened. Give me a second, hold on. <clears throat> but yeah, we saw what happened um, against France. So can Jamaica shock Brazil and shock and can Jamaica shock football by going through? My eyes are really itchy. I do apologise about that. But but to be honest, I've I didn't what I I didn't really watch the game. Um, but looking at the highlights and the stats, I know um, I think Jamaica had like 13 shots and Panama had 12. But looking at the game in general, Jamaica looks quite dominant, to be honest, you know. And Drew Spencer hit the bar from a free kick. From a free kick. And just looking at the highlights, Jamaica just looked the better side, if I have to be honest. Um, Panama, their first game against Brazil, they just got battered. And uh, I wouldn't say they got battered today, but I. But looking at the highlights, it looks like Jamaica were the better side. If there is anyone watching this video who did watch the game, um, put in the comments how did the game go? Because looking at the highlights, Jamaica looked the better team. But looking at the stats, I saw like Panama had like twelve shots and Jamaica had like thirteen. So they clearly had a couple of chances, but they just I think it was twelve something like that. I can't remember. Um, but it looks like they had. Quite a decent game, if I have to be honest. Um, it looks like they had quite a decent game, if I have to be honest. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, you know, um, you know, and I'm not gonna lie, when that full time whistle went, Panama looked they looked disappointed, they looked distraught, they looked they looked so upset, and uh. You know, to go out of the World Cup, it is quite upsetting. It is sad, but you know. But then you got to learn on your mis. You got to learn from your mistakes. But, but Jamaica just won that grand. I'm sure they'll try all their best to get into the next tournament, which is in twenty twenty three, which is in twenty twenty six twenty seven. I'm not sure when it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure when the next World Cup is. Um, the next Women's World Cup. Well, actually, I think it will be 2027 because the next Men's World Cup is 2026. Yeah, so I'm sure Panama will try really hard to try get into the 2027 Women's World Cup. But, but yeah, you know that. You know they looked really disappointed, but at least they can say they were there after bronze. But Jamaica, they've got a really they got a good chance of getting through, but it's not going to be easy because they're playing Brazil, who are a good side. But, yeah, um, and, you know, and, you know, of course, the final day or the final group stage mayhem begins tomorrow. Group A, um, Philippines, Norway, New Zealand and Switzerland, I think, are all in contention of going through. 8 a.m. kickoff, though. It is effort to get up, but... Hopefully I'll be up. Hopefully I'll be up and I'll be able to watch it. But yeah. Um, anyway guys, that's the end of this reaction. And I'll see you tomorrow.